So how does this connect with a new Da Vinci Code? Millions analyzed the Last Supper for secret messages, but look at what they may have missed. Look at this close-up of a hand. What you're saying is that not only did Leonardo have a syndactic hand of his own, but that he gave his syndactic hand to the figure of Christ in the Last Supper. The hand of the Last Supper is most definitely a syndactyl hand, and it's always been a syndactyl hand. Ben Sweeney, a da Vinci researcher, claims that da Vinci's own hand had syndactyly, webbed, misshapen fingers. If you look at his writings when he was young, he writes about his left hand as being his tired hand, and he called his right hand his good hand. Now remember, he's left-handed. Syndactyly, joined fingers from the same gene as ectrodactyly, would explain it. Look at da Vinci's sketch of his own hand and the paper it's drawn on. An actual line between the middle and, and fourth finger. That's actually pigment in the paper. It's imperfection in the paper. It's not there. There is no line. It's webbed. It's absolutely webbed. Sweeney showed his findings to Dr. Upton, who agreed with him. The left hand is abnormal, and the ring finger is crooked. It's a perfect illusion. See, we, we look at things and we want to see beauty in everything we look at. In da Vinci's day, a deformity to be hidden. Today, a simple genetic accident to be overcome, with for some, a surgical solution.